She hit publish and held her breath. It was a moment she had been preparing for, a culmination of countless hours spent perfecting her craft and curating her content. A wave of something close to stage fright washed over her. The uncertainty of how her work would be received gnawed at her, but she knew that every creator faced this moment of vulnerability. Her new social media account was live. It was a humble start. Only a handful of followers, mostly friends and family, who were humoring her. Yet, she cherished each one, knowing they were the foundation of her budding community. But in her mind, it was a seed planted. She dreamed of it growing into a thriving community. Just like a gardener tends to their plants, she was ready to nurture her online presence with care and dedication. Her passion was baking. She wasn't a professional, but her sourdough was legendary among her friends. Each loaf was a testament to her patience and skill, a small masterpiece born from her kitchen. Her Instagram feed was a tapestry of crusty loaves, gooey cinnamon rolls, and cakes decorated with the precision of a seasoned artist. Every post was a visual feast, inviting her followers to share in her culinary journey. Each post was a labor of love, a testament to her craft. She poured her heart into every creation, hoping to inspire others to find joy in baking as she did. She knew that standing out in the crowded world of social media wouldn't be easy. The competition was fierce, with countless creators vying for attention, but she was determined. She believed in the uniqueness of her voice and the quality of her work. She was ready to learn, to adapt, and most importantly, to connect. She understood that building a community meant more than just posting beautiful pictures. It required genuine interaction and engagement with her audience. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step, and hers began with the click of a button, a leap of faith into the unknown. It was a small action, but it held the promise of endless possibilities. She was ready to build something real, something meaningful, one post at a time. Each new follower, each comment, each like was a step forward, a sign that her dream was taking root. And she knew deep down that the world was hungry for authenticity. In a digital age filled with filters and facades, her genuine passion and dedication stood out. She was confident that her authenticity would resonate with others, drawing them into her world of baking and creativity. As she continued to share her journey, she found joy not just in the growth of her followers, but in the connections she made. Each message of encouragement, each shared recipe, was a reminder that she was not alone in her passion. Her followers began to recreate her recipes, sharing their results and stories. It was a beautiful cycle of inspiration and creativity, a testament to the power of community. With every positive comment and every shared post, her confidence grew. She realized that her small beginnings were just the start of something much bigger. Her dreams were no longer just her own. They were shared by a growing community of like-minded individuals. And so, with hope in her heart and dreams in her eyes, she continued her journey. One post at a time, one connection at a time, she was building something beautiful, something lasting. Her small beginnings were paving the way for big dreams. She dove head first into the world of content creation. She treated her posts like culinary masterpieces, each one carefully crafted to be both visually appealing and informative. Her photos were bathed in natural light, showcasing the intricate details of her creations. But it wasn't just about pretty pictures. She wanted to provide real value to her audience. Her captions were like mini recipes, sprinkled with tips and tricks she'd learned over the years. She shared her sourdough starter journey, demystifying the process with humor and honesty. She knew her target audience. They were home bakers like her, passionate about good food and eager to learn. She tailored her content to their needs, answering their questions and addressing their pain points. She wanted her page to be a resource, a place where people could come to learn, to be inspired, and to connect with their own love of baking. She believed in quality over quantity. Each post was an opportunity to create a meaningful interaction, to spark a conversation, to build a relationship with her followers. It was about fostering a sense of community, one delicious post at a time. She realized early on that social media was not a one-way street. It wasn't enough to just create great content. She needed to engage with her growing audience. Every comment, every like, every direct message was an opportunity to connect on a personal level. She responded to every single comment no matter how small. She answered questions, offered encouragement, 
and even just shared a virtual laugh or two. She wanted her followers to know that there was a real person behind the account, someone who genuinely cared about their experiences. She asked questions in her captions, prompting her audience to share their own baking stories and tips. She created polls and quizzes, making her page interactive and fun. She even hosted live Q&A sessions answering baking questions in real time. She understood that building a community was about building relationships. It was about creating a space where people felt heard, valued and connected. And she knew that genuine engagement was the key to making that happen. She discovered the power of hashtags. They were like bridges, connecting her content to a wider audience interested in baking. She researched relevant hashtags, using a mix of popular and niche terms to reach both a broad and targeted audience. She didn't just randomly sprinkle hashtags into her posts, she used them strategically, weaving them organically into her captions or adding a few relevant ones at the end. She wanted her hashtags to feel natural, not forced or spammy. She also paid attention to what hashtags her audience and other bakers were using. This gave her valuable insights into the conversations happening around her niche and allowed her to join in authentically. She saw her engagement and reach steadily increasing as she refined her hashtag strategy. Hashtags became her silent partners, working behind the scenes to connect her with a wider audience of baking enthusiasts who were eager to discover her delicious content. Collaboration. Two voices are better than one. I knew the power of collaboration. I reached out to other bakers and food bloggers proposing collaborations that would benefit both parties. I participated in joint giveaways, guest posted on other accounts, and even co-created recipes with fellow bakers. These collaborations weren't just about numbers, although they did bring in new followers. They were about building relationships, learning from others, and tapping into new audiences who shared my passion for baking. I approached these collaborations with a spirit of generosity and mutual benefit. I cross-promoted my collaborators' content, shared their stories, and made sure to highlight their unique talents and perspectives. I found that the baking community was incredibly welcoming and supportive. By working together, we could amplify each other's voices, reach new heights, and create a more vibrant and diverse online baking world. Trends and analytics, riding the waves of change. I became a student of my own success. I started paying attention to my analytics, those insightful numbers that revealed what resonated with my audience. I learned which types of posts performed best, what times of day my audience was most active, and which hashtags drove the most engagement. I also kept a close eye on emerging trends in the baking world. I experimented with new recipes, jumped on viral baking challenges, and incorporated seasonal ingredients into my creations. This kept my content fresh, relevant, and exciting for my audience. I wasn't afraid to adapt my content strategy based on what I learned. If a particular type of post wasn't performing well, I would tweak my approach or try something new. I viewed my analytics as a compass, guiding me towards creating content that my audience truly loved. I understood that the world of social media was constantly evolving. To stay ahead of the curve, I needed to be flexible, adaptable, and willing to embrace change. Patience and learning, the long game of growth. I learned that building a thriving online community takes time. There were no overnight successes, no magic shortcuts. It required patience, persistence, and a willingness to learn and adapt along the way. There were days when I felt discouraged, when my engagement dipped, or when a post I'd poured my heart into didn't get the response I'd hoped for. But I refused to let those moments derail me. I reminded myself that every successful account started from zero, and that consistent effort over time would yield results. I embraced the learning process. I read articles and books about social media marketing. I attended webinars and workshops to learn from experts. I never stopped seeking out new information and strategies to improve my craft. I viewed my social media journey as a marathon, not a sprint. It was about enjoying the process, celebrating the small victories, and never losing sight of my passion for baking and connecting with others who shared my love for the craft. From zero to hero, the power of consistency. My once small social media account had blossomed into a thriving community. My follower count had grown.